Medical researchers are making great strides in the field of regenerative medicine. They're learning how to stimulate the body's repair mechanisms to heal tissues and organs. Now, doctors in Japan are pioneering a way to create blood vessels and even new bone. Susumu Yuasa is 81. Five years ago, he started to feel a sharp pain in his right ankle. The pain grew stronger by the day, and soon it was hard for him to even walk. The diagnosis was not good. The problem was a blockage in an artery near his groin, impeding the blood flow. My doctor was even talking about where to cut my leg off. I was really shocked. Yuasa's leg was saved, thanks to the state-of-the-art research being conducted by Akira Marui, an associate professor at Kyoto University. Marui used this substance, FGF2. It's derived from a protein that occurs naturally in the body. When blood flow is impeded, FGF2 helps stimulate cells that create new blood vessels. It was already known that the protein can help blood capillaries to form. But up to now, FGF2 could not be used in treatments because it breaks down as soon as it is injected into the body. Marui's research team found that mixing the FGF2 with a gel prevented it from breaking down so fast. The protein continues to be discharged for about a month, leading to the regeneration of many blood vessels. With this method, blood vessels are created faster and blood flow increases rapidly. It works by strengthening the body's own inherent natural healing ability. Marui used the FGF2 in treating Yuasa, injecting it in more than 40 places on his right leg. Six months later, and the change is remarkable. Yuasa is almost totally pain-free now. And he can walk about two kilometers. I can walk and enjoy myself and even drive my car. I couldn't be happier. The treatment is easy. Any doctor can do it. It has great potential and should be used widely. FGF2 is also being used to treat periodontal disease, a problem affecting nearly 80 percent of adults in Japan. It's a disease of the gums, which melts the bones that form the base of teeth, causing them to fall out. A few drops of FGF2 solution applied directly to the affected area helps to produce new blood vessels and regenerate the bone. Nine months after his treatment, this patient's bone is almost back to normal and the teeth are no longer loose. Clinical tests found that lost bone can be regenerated to about 60 percent of its former mass. The figures show that FGF2 is effective in restoring the function of the teeth. I want to work hard to make it available as soon as possible so that dentists can start treating patients this way. Now doctors are looking to the next frontier, other proteins that could regenerate heart muscles and even the nerve cells of the brain.